Hello, Susan Young here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing, Is Your Spouse a Compulsive Shopper? Spouses often fail to recognize their mate's shopping addictions until a crisis arises and the addicted spender bottoms out financially and or emotionally. One reason for this delayed recognition is that people often deny seeing something painful about their mates. The other reason is that the compulsive shopping is just beginning to be recognized as an addiction after decades of being dismissed as an inability to budget well or predisposition towards self-indulgence. There is also a cultural stereotype that women love to shop. Consequently, many men dism dismiss their wives' compulsive shopping as being typically female. Most often, the compulsive shopper will be the first person in the relationship to recognize and discuss her addiction with her mate. Frequently, money issues will bring deeper emotional issues to the surface. Sometimes, however, the addicted spender does not acknowledge her problem, either because of ignorance or denial. If this is the case in your marriage, you may have to ap approach your wife with the truth about her addiction. The compulsive shopper, even if she has a strong denial mechanisms, is actually a, in a vulnerable state. Therefore, if possible, a kind and loving approach is best. In most instances, the spouse is the most appropriate person to broach the topic of a shopping addiction. Before you do this, ask yourself if you are committed to this marriage. If the answer is yes, try to be gentle with yourself as well as with your spouse because you are also in a vulnerable state, it is natural for you to have certain fears. Will she hate me for telling her? Will she be able to hear and acknowledge what I've told her? Will she be willing to help herself? Will she recover? Whatever your feelings, anger, hurt, betrayal, fear, frustration, helplessness, this is the time to try and to put them aside temporarily. It is best to be clear about your primary goal, to tell your spouse that she has a shopping addiction in a loving and supportive manner so that if she is ready to hear this, she will. She might deny what she hears from you at first, but maintain, maintaining your loving, positive stance is necessary if she is ever to accept it. It is vital to approach your mate at an optimal time for both of you. The most effective time will be when you're feeling strong and relaxed. This might be after a nice meal, after lovemaking, or after a pleasant outing or a good laugh. You better, you're better than anyone can concern, discern when the time is right. The very fact that you are telling your wife encourages honesty and closeness between you. It is a difficult task for you, but marriage partners face many uneasy tasks and problems through the years. It's how you choose to deal with problems that can make your marriage strong or weak. The more reassuring you are, the more receptive your wife will be. Pre pre preface your statements with loving and reassuring messages. This will only be effective if what you say is genuine. Although I am offering guidelines, they should be adapted so you can be as sincere as possible. One way to pre preface your talk might be to say, Honey, or, or whatever term of endearment you use, there is something that I want to tell you that's been on my mind. It's very upsetting to me because I value our relationship and family of apical and because I'm concerned about you. It may be difficult to hear this, 
I know what it feels like because there have been times when I had to hear difficult things from you. Still, I'm glad that you told me those things. I always want to be honest with, with me because that makes me learn and grow and makes us closer. Then tell your wife that you think she has a problem with compulsive spending. And you know there are many people who have overcome this problem. This would be a good time for you to say, I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't know how strong you are and if I didn't have faith that you can beat this problem. Addiction is a harsh word to bring up at, at first and should not be mentioned until a later time. At this point, you might want to highlight examples in your lives when you have seen her compulsive shopping manifest itself. If your wife becomes extremely defensive, denies her problem, and or gets furious with you, stop the discussion for the time being. Her reaction might make you feel frustrated and angry, but remember that you can air these feelings at a more appropriate time. You might say to her at this point, Please consider what I've said, because I love you so much, and I'm concerned about our relationship. In a few days or a week, your wife may show signs of being willi willing to explore her problem further. Some of the signs that may indicate her willingness are the following. She might appear less angry. Her mood might be better. Her body language might invite closeness. There might be other signs that, that only you can discern. At this time, try to give her reassuring messages. This reassurance should be a constant underlying theme if she is to feel safe and supported enough to give up her addiction. It is crucial for her to hear from you that there is hope and you have faith in her recovery. Decisions should now be made as to how she will treat the problem. She may want to decide this herself or discuss it with you. The decision is hers. After an appropriate time has passed, and only you can judge your own comfort zone, if your wife continues to deny that she has a serious problem, you may want to seek professional counseling. If your spouse is a compulsive shopper, I hope this video was helpful to you and discover how to approach your spouse about his or her problems. If you both have found yourselves in debt from the overspending problem, check out below for our financial advisor, Brad Long, who can help you with your finances. How are you doing with this video so far? If you like this video, hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And check out my website at www.stopbigspending.com and leave me your email address at the Contact Us page on the website and I will inform you on my next videos coming up. See you here on YouTube and see you in social media. You have a great week.